What is up YouTube, Silver Baggins here. In this video, I wanna talk about milk spotted coins and how you can prevent yours from milk spotting. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because I got a lot of great silver related content coming out. But this one is all on these right here. We got right here and right here and then on this side. Look at that, big old milk spots. So this is a Canadian maple leaf. As you can see here, it is a 2017 and it is very badly milk spotted. So I don't know if you know this, but silver coins, some of them are more prone to milk spotting than others. And perhaps the most famous is the Canadian maple leaf uh, from 2017 and earlier. So I'm not sure why this one actually milk spotted. I have a couple other ones here. Uh, you can see they actually all milk spotted. This one's pretty bad too. Um, the milk spot is just like this sort of milky white part that sort of ends up being on the coin. And this happens to, you know, a wide variety of coins. Certain mints have a better record for not milk spotting than others. And there's not really much you can do to get it off. Um, this is just, it's cold out here, so I'm touching it and you're kind of seeing, but yeah, like you can't wipe that off or anything. Uh, you might be able to try and clean it, but the thing with coins is once you clean them, uh, you know, you sort of lose the value. It's been cleaned. People don't really like clean stuff. So, you know, if you have a coin that looks like this, uh, what do you do? Do you try and sell it, try and clean it, um, give it to a refinery or, a, you know, someone who's going to melt it down because it's not worth more than the uh, silver content anymore? I mean, it just really ruins the aesthetics of the coin. Uh, let's show another one here. Actually, I want to show this one because... It is from Canada. You can see it's got the milk spotting, another 2017, but it's not a maple leaf. This is, uh, I think, from their Predator series. Um, and you can see this one's also milk spotted. So it's not just the Canadian maple leaves. And basically, 2017 was the last year um, that they were supposed to have problems with these. Um, moving forward, 2018 and beyond, they started using uh, what they're calling the Mint Shield technology to help prevent milk spotting, which is kind of cool. I haven't heard of any other mints other than the Royal Canadian Mint doing this. Um, so the RCM, They're, they started doing it in 2018. Basically they researched for I think five years on how to prevent milk spotting and all of their bullion coins that they did moving forward, the silver ones, after 2017, they used the technology in. So let me show you 2018. We can kind of compare and contrast. Uh, this one, you can see a couple scratches, but that's just on this case here. I got it in the black ring capsule. Uh, the coin is actually in perfect condition. There's no milk spotting whatsoever on it. Let's look at the other side here. Also perfect condition. No milk spotting. So an absolutely perfect Canadian maple leaf. I mean, it might not be totally perfect um, as far as like, does it have any sort of scratches or dings? I don't know if it's MS-70 condition. But as far as milk spotting goes, there isn't any spotting on it at all. And you can see right there, it's a 2018. And this has the new technology. And uh, let me show you one other 2018 here. So I actually bought two that year, one sort of in the middle of the year and one towards the end of the year. And neither of them milk spotted at all. So is the new technology from the RCM, is that actually working, the mint shield? Uh, and what, what even is that technology, right? So... Let's do a comparison of two different ones here. Okay. So you can see the 2017 and the 2018 side by side. So um, the Royal Canadian Mint actually never came out and said, to my knowledge, exactly what technology it is. Uh, maybe it's sort of like a uh, trade secret they don't want to get out there. They don't want other mints copying them. Um, and, you know, we don't even know if it's going to work. The 2019 ones are already out, and so presumably it's working so far. Um, but we don't know if, and maybe someone in the comments can let me know if they have some sort of insider information, but as far as I, my research, I wasn't able to find, were they using new dyes, a new finish on the coins? What were they doing differently that these ones milk spotted and these ones don't? What exactly is the mint shield? Um, so basically the coin is exactly the same. It must be some sort of different finish or the way they process it or the silver, maybe the refining, they add something, I don't know. 
Uh, they're both four nines fine silver, which means it's 99.99% silver. So this one here is the same amount of silver as this one. So if they added anything into the new ones, it must be very, very small, something that they added to prevent the spotting. I think it's more likely that it's the finish they put on them. They're trying to prevent it. So let's talk about how you can prevent milk spotting in your coins. Uh, so the first thing that I think people would think is, um, oh, well, obviously this one is out in the open, the 2017. It's just open to the air. So of course it's gonna milk spot. You're touching it with your bare hands. The oils on your hands are causing that. Um, that's not the case. It could be in one of these black ring airtight capsules and still milk spot. Uh, the fact that I put it in this capsule doesn't mean anything as far as milk spots go. In fact, let me prove that to you. I've got another coin here. This is the uh, Rum Runner from Antigua and Barbuda. This came out in 2018. This is from the Scottsdale Mint. And look up in the top here. You can see all these sort of milks, milk spots on the... Uh, that's sort of the shiny portion of it. It's not a proof, but that is the shinier part. The ship and everything's sort of a matte finish. But this is supposed to be all shiny up there. It was when I first got it, but now it's milked. You can see it right there. You can totally see that at the top, right by the B. So this coin is actually milk spotting, and it's in the same exact black ring capsule. And it's not like I handled it any differently. Um, when I bought this coin, I, it came in a, a plastic, hard plastic flip. I handled it with gloves. I put it right in the uh, black ring capsule, and yet it's still milk spotted. Um, so the black ring capsule has nothing to do with whether they milk spot or not. And handling with gloves doesn't matter either. Uh, this is an airtight capsule, so no air can get in there. I mean, it's basically sealed in there. Um, so that's not how you prevent your coins from milk spotting. And, um, you know, this one here, I handled the exact same way when I bought it. I took it out of the hard plastic flip. I put it right in this black airtight. I wore gloves and this one didn't milk spot. So what's the difference? Well, I think the difference is that the Royal Canadian Mint really stepped up their game on their quality control on their uh, coins, and they were able to come up with a technology that presumably is now working to prevent the milk spots. Uh, clearly it's working on this one. I mean, and, and just look at the comparison. I can grab any one of these older ones, and it's terribly milk spotted. Uh, you know, you can see that big old spot there. So if you're going side by side, obviously 2018, they came up with some sort of way to prevent the milk spotting. So how do you prevent your coins from doing that? Well, I think the only way to really do that is buy coins that are either something like the Mint Shield technology that they're using or just from a um, reputable mint that doesn't have uh, the problems that some of these other mints are having. Like the, the Royal Canadian Mint is just, they're known for milk spotting. So many people, you know, you could Google it, look up reviews, and they say, you know, 2017 and older, they all milk spot, or a lot of them do, vast majority of them do. But with their new technology now, apparently it's working. Uh, so there's a lot of other mints that have great quality control that don't have problems with milk spotting that you could buy coins from. So you could buy the newer Canadian Maple Leafs, uh, you can buy American Silver Eagles, great quality control, ha don't really have a lot of problems milk spotting with those. Uh, the Mexican uh, Libertads, I haven't really noticed any problem with those. Um, uh, you know, Perth Mint in Australia does a great job. Most of those are pretty good uh, as far as quality control go. Uh, not a ton of complaints. Usually everyone's pretty happy with stuff coming out of the Perth Mint. Um, so I think it's mostly just picking and choosing what coins you're going to buy if you don't want the ugly milk spots. And I think that's really what it comes down to is just sort of do your research and see which companies are having problems. And if you don't want your coins to look like this, just don't buy them. Uh, the South African uh, Krugerrands, a lot of people were having issues with milk spotting on those. Um, I mentioned before the Scottsdale Mint, this one came from. They've got some quality control issues, obviously, with the milk spotting on that one. Um, so I think that's pretty much the best way to avoid this is just do your research, buy coins from uh, really good mints that aren't having issues like this. Or, at, you know, 
worst case scenario, if you want to buy the Canadian Maple Leafs, just don't buy them any older than 2018. Just stick with the 2018s and the 2019s and you should be go. Good to go. So um, anyway, that was my video. I'd love to hear if anyone has any uh, comments they want to add on the subject. What are your thoughts on milk spotting? Is there anything you can do to prevent it? I mean, I recently just talked to someone on the Coast to Coast Stacking, which is a live stream I do, and um, he was saying that he bought a Chinese panda that was slabbed. It was graded MS-70 and it was all milk, milk spotted. So um, that was, you know, it was in a sealed graded container and it's still milk spotted. So yeah, you know, I think, I think the main lesson here is just do your research, um, buy good coins from quality mints that aren't going to uh, milk spot or at least, you know, the majority of them don't, uh, that they've got really good quality control. And uh, so those are my thoughts on the subject. Again, post your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Baggins, out.